Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics and today we will learn how to solve a problem on a given process how to solve a given process so the problem is here air at 420 kelvin and 600 kilopascal has a volume of 2 meter cube it is heated at constant volume until the pressure is 800 kilopascals find the change in internal energy and enthalpy what is the heat given to the gas we will also find out what is the work done so let's start well i know many of you would already tell me or already react to this that when it is a constant volume process when it is a constant volume process then delta v is zero therefore work done is equal to zero we assume that the gas is an ideal gas but Anyhow, even if it was not an ideal gas, the work done would have been zero. Because no change in volume means no displacement and that means no work. Now let's go about the business of calculating the other points in this problem. That is internal energy, enthalpy and heat given. So applying the first law we get du is equal to dq plus dw since dw is zero we get dq is equal to du is equal to cv dt now if we know the initial and the final temperatures of the process we should be able to do this calculation now let's visualize how does this process really look like here let's draw the y-axis which is the pressure and the x-axis which is the volume so this is the pressure axis this is the volume axis we assume it as volume per unit mass so let this be meter cube per k mole and we can write this in kilopascals so this is the initial point of the process where the volume is 2 meter cube I'll shortly let you know whether it is 2 meter cube per kilo mole or not and then afterwards from here it is pressurized so the initial pressure is 600 kilopascals and the final pressure is 800 kilopascals well let's apply the first ideal gas law so we write the ideal gas law and it is pv is equal to n r t where n will give you the number of moles of the gas so p or better still v bar will be equal to that is v by n will be equal to r t upon p so r is 8.314 into T is 420 Kelvin and the pressure is to start with 600 kilopascals so we get the volume per unit mass or per unit mole as 8.314 into 420 divided by 600 so that makes it 
वन नाइन एट मीटर क्यूब पर किलो मोल सो द इनिशियल वॉल्यूम इज फाइव पॉइंट एट वन नाइन एट मीटर क्यूब पर किलो मोल एंड द फाइनल वॉल्यूम टू इज द सेम बिकॉज इट्स अ कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस नाउ वॉट वुड बी द फाइनल टेम्परेचर द फाइनल टेम्परेचर टी टू इज गोइंग टू बी इक्वल टू वी टू ओवर वी वन oh i'm sorry p2 over p1 into t1 that's going to be equal to the final pressure is 800 kilopascals divided by the initial pressure to start with this 600 kilopascals into 420 kelvin is the initial temperature so the final temperature we have is 800 into 420 divided by 600 that makes it 560 kelvin so the final temperature we have is 560 kelvin now since air is assumed to be an ideal gas here we can take the value of cp as 29.099 kilo joule per k mole kelvin and we can take the value of cv as 20.785 Kilo joule per k mole Kelvin. Therefore, we get the heat given or taken to the gas is equal to the change in its internal energy is equal to the number of moles of the gas n into C V that is twenty point seven eighty five into 560 minus 420 so we replace these quantities now so we write this as delta u and we write this as q since we have already taken it in the integrated form now we need to find out n so n here is given by 600 kilopascals which is the pressure into the volume which is 0.2 meter cube into 8.314 which is r into 420 which is Zero point zero three four. So we take it zero point zero three four kilo moles. Therefore, the value of Q, which is nothing but equal to the value of change in internal energy, is equal to zero point zero three four into twenty point seven eighty five into. Five sixty minus four twenty. So we have as 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ट्वेंटी पॉइंट सेवन एटी फाइव इंटू फाइव सिक्सटी माइनस फोर ट्वेंटी दैट इज नाइंटी एट पॉइंट नाइन थ्री सिक्स सिक्स किलो जूस so the heat given is equal to the change in internal energy which is equal to 98.9366 kilojoules now this has a positive sign so a positive sign means that heat is given to the system so heat is given to the system and internal energy has also increased now let us calculate what is the change in enthalpy now the change in enthalpy is equal to n into cp into t2 minus t1 so we have delta h equal to 0.034 into 29.099 into 560 minus 420 and that is equal to 138.511 point five one one Two kilo joules. We know that the work done is zero. I had stated that initially, and I would like to state that finally before ending the problem. So we have calculated all that we had set out for the change in enthalpy, the change in internal energy, and the change in heat. so this was all about the calculation for a problem which is a constant volume process hope this was informative guys keep watching for more such videos and do write me in case you want any problems solved in thermodynamics i'll make a video of that and put it up have a great time goodbye fellows